I've got things packed up uh, to go. Um, if need be. More people are evacuating a wildfire in northern Colorado as crews face another day of powerful winds. They're fueling a blaze that's already charred about 90 square miles. Temperatures are in the 90s along with low humidity and officials say firefighters have been dealing with 30 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. We're going to be aggressive when we can be. SDA. We're going to be patient when we need to be. And we're going to be persistent until we bring this fire to closure in a safe and effective way. So far, the fire has destroyed more than 180 homes, the most in state history. The massive blaze was initially sparked when lightning hit a tree. And they can determine that this is the the actual tree where that that lightning uh, started a very, very small, probably a... Uh, just a glowing ember of, of a fire that, that when the winds came up on Saturday, it, it blew into a, a full-fledged forest fire. Crews say they've been able to maintain most existing fire lines, and authorities have dispatched roving patrols to prevent looting. Unfortunately, we have had some people, we have hundreds of miles around, there's no fence. Um, hundreds of miles, we're blocking the roads and watching, but there have been some people in there that shouldn't have been. About 1,700 personnel are working on the fire. So far, it's about 45% contained. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.